Now, many of you probably know Liam Vickers as the director and creator of the show Murder Drones, a very popular indie show which is produced by Glitch. But what some of you may not know is that Liam had a few animated projects before this that did not get as much attention and love. You know I love Murder Drones, but I'm also quite a big fan of his other works as well, even if Murder Drones is my favorite, and I wanted to sh shine some light onto them. So today I'm going to be going over the three animated projects he had before, hopefully convincing some of you to go watch them yourself. Quick disclaimer, I will not be talking about Scary Storytime with Liam, his other channel before Liam Vickers Animation, where he did a lot of, as the name implies, scary stories. I have yet to really check this out, but I heard it's really good, so I might later. This video will only be covering the Liam Vickers Animation channel, just thought I'd mention that. So without further ado, let's go into Liam's previous projects before Murder Drones. Let's split up. The first upload on Liam Vickers' animation channel is a Let's Split Up animatic. It follows two Wendigos, Clyde and Dee, who have to hunt humans to survive. Clyde is much more nice and timid and just wants to make friends with the humans it seems, while Dee is much more malicious and bloodthirsty, being an uncaring psycho but also cares for her brother. Obviously this is very reminiscent of NNV from Murder Drones, though it's not an exact copy and there are some differences as well. Of course, the humans are actively hiding from Wendigos the same way worker drones are from the murder drones, and D lures people in, unlike V, who just straight up attacks. Obviously, there's no J or Uzi equivalent, so the topic could still work. They're also similar in the way that N and V, being worker drones before, they were also humans before they became Wendigos after eating flesh for the first time. D was also apparently not always bloodthirsty, similar to how V, was. However, something that's different between Clyde and N is Clyde was apparently very evil and bloodthirsty before becoming a Wendigo, so that's something that would have been very interesting to look at. I've heard this was supposed to be a fully animated pilot from an unnamed animation company, but for some reason it was unfortunately cancelled. Liam on his website has a sequence from this unfinished pilot, though it has no voice acting. That being said, there are some dubs on YouTube if you want to go check them out. Liam has said he does not intend to finish this, though he may clean up some more sequences in the future. This is sad, but I get it. Things happen and you can't always have it go your way. The seems let's split up was met with this unfortunate fate and will not see the light of day for a full pilot as much as I wish it would. Because honestly, out of all of them before Murder Drones, this one is the most underrated. It doesn't get enough love because it's mostly just an animatic and sequence, but the ideas and characters remind me of Murder Drones while obviously having tons of unique differences between them, not just in characters, but the show in general. Obviously, it's possible someone will pick it up one day and do it, but I highly doubt it. Unless Split Up will most likely be sidelined in conversations of Liam Vickers' animations works before Murder Drones. Hey, before I got into the next one, I just wanted to remind everyone that if they are enjoying the video so far to like and subscribe, it would mean a lot to me if you did. Now, enjoy the rest of the video. Cliffside His next major upload was Cliffside, a show following an outlaw named Waylon his partner in crime Joe, and a spider lady named Cordy. Not including Murder Jones, this is one of his works to get recognized the most, and many people fell in love with the western theme and characters, specifically Cordy has gotten a lot of love and attention for being an obsessive, hyperactive spider woman. Also, out of the three before Murder Jones, this is by far the highest animation quality, and I believe I remember Liam saying that this was a test to show people what he could do if he had the funding. There are creatures like Yanis, I think that's how you pronounce it. They're probably gone unless they pull a J and come back. Then there's Death itself, which I think is really sick and probably my favorite character because they're just unique and I, they're the most interesting to me. But the series was discontinued, I think. From what I can tell, it was being pitched around to have a full season but never came to fruition, which is sad because you know uh it was too ambitious for him to just be doing it i think he said it took years to do but i could be wrong about that and that's where it stands now but i have seen him say stuff like it's possible he could bring it back i don't know it's hard to keep up with the stuff that liam says sometimes so take that with a grain of salt whatever point is it's probably discontinued but it's still got a lot of love over the years so who knows He's made some other character designs, which you can find in his update video, and I assume they're canon because he made them? Dunno. Anyways, Cliffside of course got lots of support and people loved it, especially Cordy, 
and out of all the ones on here it has the most content you can find on it as people talking about it is what i mean by that and it's definitely not something as niche as let's split up but it fits the bill for an animation liam made before murder drone so here it is anyways let's move on to the last one the only one that is not officially discontinued as far as i can tell Internation Cube. As I said before, Internation Cube is the only one that is not completely discontinued. More put on hold. It's an animatic like web series, so much easier to manage, and Liam said it would be the future of his animation channel. Uh, like storyboard animatic type stuff. Obviously, since he is very busy with murder drones, he does not have a lot of time to be cubing or whatever. Uh, anyways, this show follows a 15 year old boy named Max who stole a cube robot thing named Icon, spelled like this, from a secret government agency or something like that. I don't know, this one's a little hard for even me to follow. But it's very entertaining, so I don't really care. There is also a character named Kiri who seems to be infected with the cube virus and assisting Max in trying to do whatever his plan is with Icon because. That has not been revealed and it's not entirely clear. It's very anime-ish in terms of some of its jokes and character designs while still being unsettling and creepy like we know from Liam, so that's a very unique idea that I like a lot. Max is cool and all and Kiri is mysterious, but what really draws me in is Icon. She's so weird. I love it. She doesn't even know what they're doing, but she has a god complex and is always trying to satisfy that while just being a silly little angsty cube. And that personality and high-pitched voice combined with the robotic form, formal words she uses, like assimilate and that kind of stuff, is so contradictory. It's just so unique. I don't know. I don't know how to exactly explain it, so you'd have to watch it for yourself. Especially episode 3 is very entertaining and out there. It's so serious that it'll say something like this. Are you now confused at my intentions due to me being a hot mess express quirky baka gamer girl? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. It's so random, I love it. The lore is very confusing though, like I understand murder drones because obviously I put a lot of time into examining it, and Cliffside and Let's Split Up are much more simple, but this, I'm so lost, like I got no idea what's going on. I have seen a lore video before so I'm a little more up to speed, but I'm still pretty lost. But hey, I don't mind, I'm a FNAF fan so I'm used to liking things I don't understand. And that is all the Liam Vickers animation or LVA things I have to go over. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to like and subscribe once again. And if this video made you interested in any of the projects mentioned, I'll make sure to link them in the description for you. Also, to make sure to comment which ones is your favorite, and if I miss anything from these three, please let me know because obviously I don't know everything. Um, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.